This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. This tutorial video covers some Google Classroom hacks to help you maximize your use of Classroom with students. The following tips will be shared with you related to Google Classroom. How to share an entire folder with a link. How to adjust point values for graded assignments beyond the limited list that's available how to work around the lack of the ability to add a co-teacher, and some tips specific to iPads on how to edit documents with embedded tables. Let's get started. One of the current limitations in Classroom is that you can't share an entire folder with students. You're limited to sharing individual files. If you're a teacher with Classroom resources assembled in a folder, such as notes and rubrics, that you want students to access throughout the year, there is a simple solution. Let's take a look. So I'm currently in my Drive navigation screen. I have my folders on the left-hand side. I'm going to scroll down to find the folder that I want to share with students. So if I want to share this folder, Judkin Science, I mouse over it, and you'll notice I have a drop-down box choice right here. I'm going to click on this, choose Share, and Share again and this will pop up the sharing menu. Normally it's defaulting to private, but I can change this. I can choose anyone with the link. It will default to can view, which is what I want. I'm going to save this. This link that comes available here, I'm going to copy this because this is the link that I want to share with students through my About page in Classroom. I'm going to choose Done, and then I'm going to navigate to Classroom. On my About page, I'm going to add materials. I'm going to choose the Link button, and I'm going to paste that link to the shared folder. Be sure to choose Add, and then I'll have the option to post. Now my students, through the About page, will be able to see a link to my folder. Another question teachers have been asking is related to the number of points available for assignment grading. It appears as though there are only four choices, but you can actually customize the number of points available for, as a, for an assignment provided it's a whole number. Let's take a look. Fund Me an Assignments page, you're going to click on the points value rather than the drop down. So if you click in this field, you can assign a specific number of points and Instead of hitting Enter to record that number, you actually have to either hit Tab or click away from the box, and you'll notice you get an option to update the point value. Click this, and now your point value for this assignment has been changed. Many of us operate under a co-teaching model, and Classroom is limited in that it only allows for one teacher per class. While this isn't a perfect workaround, there is a fix that will allow you and your co-teacher to be able to view student work and participate in class. Let's take a look at some options for you. First of all, you'd want to make sure the co-teacher is joined in your class. So a teacher can join a class as well as add a class. They would do it from the plus button here, join your class, and add the class code as a student would, and they'll be able to see all of the work within your class. However, the big deal is you want them to be able to see the student work that they submit. So to do this, you're going to actually have to go into Drive. When you're in Drive, you want to navigate to your classroom folder for the class that you're co-teaching. So when you mouse over the folder, as we showed you at the beginning of this video, you're going to choose the sharing options here and here. And what you can do is you can actually add a co-teacher to have edit privileges in your folder. And that will allow them to view student work and to make comments on student work. This doesn't allow them to grade assignments because that happens within Classroom, but this is a good temporary fix until that uh, functionality is added to Classroom. One of the common problems we have is with students working with the iPads if they're trying to edit a document, particularly one with an embedded table, this creates a problem because tables on a Google Doc do not display on an iPad. In other words, if this is the format of the document, when the student opens it up on their iPad, this is what they see. They see an indication that a table is there but can't be edited. And so the workaround for this actually involves converting a Google document into a Word doc. 
I know this sounds crazy, and Google, if you're listening, you really need to fix the iPad app. But in the meantime, this is what I recommend. Click on the three dots in the upper right-hand corner. You'll be presented with the option to share and export. Save it as a Word document. The resulting Word document does have, you'll notice, an edit bar in the top right-hand corner. This is a relatively new feature within Google Drive that you can edit Word documents and you'll see that the edit features are fairly basic but it serves the purpose of making changes to the text and adding or making changes to an existing table. I hope these tips for utilizing Classroom in its current capacity have helped you. Thanks for watching. For this and other tutorial videos, check us out online at teachingforward.net.